Here we are at High Row and we're about to take this route, an old drover's road, Matterdale Common, make our way down to Clough Head. The team are all raring to go, we're just waiting for a couple of others to see if they're going to join us. But uh, we want to take you with us, we hope you enjoy the ride on this one. Cue the titles. Stand by for action. After yesterday's soaking on High Pike, the weather forecast was saying more of the same today. However, copious amounts of Guinness last night had clearly done the trick and the weather gods had come up trumps for us. Therefore, we were really looking forward to our 12 mile hike that takes in five Wainwrights and four Burkitts. Starting from High Road Car Park, we make our way along a nice, easy old drover's road or coach road for just under three miles to a gate that heads up to a nice top known as White Pike. And we then carry on to our first Wainwright, Clough Head. From there, we head south along a good clear path to our first Burkitt of the day, Cowfhow Pike. Dropping down from there, we pick up a good path and head southeast branching off it slightly to bag another Burkitt called Little Dodd. This is the prelude to our next way right, which is the highest of the day, Great Dodd, at 857 metres. Again, it's a clear, easy path southwest to the next way right, which is Watson's Dodd, and a great view of Thirlmere and the fells beyond. Dropping southeast from here, we make our way along the clear path again up to Stybarrow Dodd. Now turning east, we make our way to the rocky tops of Greenside Whitestones, a very nice Burkitt fell top. After a brief bimble around the top, we now head for home and turn northeast again along a clear path to our final Wainwright of the day, Hartside. After a brief discussion, we decide to take in our final Burkitt Fell, called Burkitt Fell, and its lovely cairn and plaque stating its name. The route down is now not so clear, but we drop down northeast, picking up various little boggy trails, and we eventually pick up the path that takes us to Douthwaite Head. From there, we decide to finish with some road work, taking the main tarmac drag back to the car at High Row. Certainly a different day to day, Bert, isn't it? Oh, much better. 100%. 100% <laughs> better. 110. Yeah, I mean, yesterday we got absolutely soaked, which is why you only got a few photographs, sadly, of High Pike and Carrick Fell. But today, much better day. You feeling good for it, Carl? I certainly am. Nice one. Let's pray and hope the weather stays. Yeah, well, it's looking good at the moment. further on down the coach road now and we can see that our objective is in clegg to be expected really
Okay, we come off the coach road just there and we're now just stripping off a little bit because we've got a bit of a batch up there. So what can you do in then, Jibro? Yeah. Unless it's that one. onwards, Unless up it's here then. This old shed looks like an old railway wagon, but how did it get here? Let us know if you know what it is. just look at White Pike that we just had a little bend over. But we are now heading up here, final batch up to Cloughhead. Here we are, Cloughhead, tagged and bagged. I've just got to wait for the others to catch up. Done. You get some great views across the A66 from Cloughhead. So obviously there's Derwent Water, Keswick. You've got the Skidor range. You can see Dodd, a bit of Clag there. And of course you've got the wonderful Blencathra, south of Fell and all the various ridges of which there are virtually 11 routes according to Wainwright to get up there I think there's much more but super stuff and we're all here what a great day it's turning out to be considering what we had yesterday unbelievable what's your name? Uh, Gert 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 right Colin and Gert here we are Clough Head Tug and Bag Tug and bag. Tag and bag. Should we, should we tag and bag it instead? Yeah. Yeah, why not? Tag and bag. There you go. Well done, guys. Number three. Only 34 to go. Cluff head, tagged and bagged. We're now heading for Calf Howe Pike, which is a burkett. We're absolutely stoked about this weather. We can't believe it. We got absolutely drowned yesterday. And it's good underfoot. And the weather is giving us superb views. Look at that. That's just unreal. We're so chuffed. What a day. <laughs> I love it when a plan comes together, you know what I mean? Here we are at Calf Howe Pike. Didn't do this last time with Dave, so wanted to get it done this time. Another bucket. Let's get it. Okay, here we are, Calf Howe Pike. Dave's done it. Well done, Dave. Come on, geese. A burkit. It's only a burkit, mate. Well, I say only a burkit, it's a burkit. Taken bag. Well done. Okay, the team are cracking on now. Up to Little Dodd. And then over to Great Dodd, which is just up there. We're all absolutely amazed at how this weather has changed from yesterday. It's making life so much easier for us. We've lost Marina and Steve. They've dropped down the path now back to the old coach road because some relatives are coming along and they are looking forward to going out to lunch with them. So we're just going to crack on.
Okay, here we are, 5.79 miles in, 2,600 odd feet, and this is Little Dodd. So at some point you'll hear the beep go off on my GPX. There we go, and that confirms we're here. Little Dodd, tagged and bagged. What a view, what a day. Right, here's the can, and then we make our way over there to the highest point. We'll do that in a minute. Well, let's get everyone up here by the can. This is Great Dodd. With Great Dodd now tagged and bagged, we're now heading off to Watson's Dodd, which is a nice little drop and hopefully what looks like a nice Miranda over to the summit. We're all doing well. All had a bit of snap in the shelter and that was very pleasant. Here we are at Watson's Dodd. There goes the beep in my pants, and we're at 708, and this is, you can see that, 2584. So, Watson's Dodd, tagged and bagged. Lovely. Well done, bro. Lovely. Colin. Tagged and bagged. Well tagged done. and bagged. Well uh, I'm wheeler sort of invited me to uh... There you go Bert. What's this dog? Uh, well done mate. Yeah. Tagged and bagged. We're in the Metron car park at Glenridden. <laughs> Here's the cracking view and you can see Helvellyn up there. And Thilmere. All the fells in view today. There's Bass and Sweet, Skidore Range, still see Blencathra, and you can still see all these reprobates that seem to be following me around. <laughs> and here's the lovely, lovely, lovely Dave. Hello there. Hello there. <laughs> Hello. Hello there. Have you had fun, lads? <laughs> yeah. Can you stop going down? Because I, can I... Excuse me. <laughs> uh, that'll probably be edited, but maybe not. Watson's Dodd tagged and bagged. We're now heading up to Stye Barrow Dodd. Weather is holding up. We're so pleased. I mean, we can't believe it after yesterday's weather. I know I keep going on about it, but it's just amazing. The forecast today was for driving rain and freezing conditions. I don't know why they bother forecasting, to be honest with you. So, Stye Barrow Dodd. Looking forward to this. And then it's off to Hartside, and that's it. Crack in. All right, Mary and I are now joining the others. And you'll certainly, hopefully, hear the beep in a minute. Hopefully. Or not. Anyway, this is Sky Barrow Dodd. No beep. <laughs> it's probably over there. I'm going to have a look at my GP. This in a minute. Anyway, well done, everyone. Downhill now. 
Yeah. Well done, Bert. Cheers. Another one. What's up? See you today. Well done, everybody. Well, well done. Great stuff. <laughs> A fantastic day. So glad the weather's held off. Yeah, brilliant day. Not like yesterday. And no. hopefully it'll stay like it for the rest of the week. So far, so good. Yeah. We're now dropping down from Sty Barra Dodd. <sighs> and we're now heading with Dell to the one and only Whitestones. Yet another Burkitt. We're on the last knockings because after Whitestones, we'll be doing Heartside. And then it's dropped down. We're eight miles in, cracking off the miles. And this has been a pretty good test and we haven't been for a whole year almost this would have been a lot more difficult had we had the conditions we had yesterday <laughs> it, it doesn't bear thinking about actually <laughs> sadly a little bit of rain has come in here we are nonetheless at Whitestones 60 feet to go right according to my GPS as you can see, hopefully, can you see it? Yeah, there you go. It's saying that this is the top just here, but obviously we're going to make for the cairn, which is up here. Right, finally, after one cairn, the highest spot, we now arrive at what is considered to be the main cairn on Whitestones, a Burkitt. We'll take and bag it. A few cans on white stones, to be honest. But uh, you just touch them all, and that's it. You know, simple one. There we are, white stones. Done. Done. White stones, Burkitt. Well done. White stone's done. We now head to our final fell of the day and heart side. The rain is here, but it's not too bad. Fortunately, we get sort of little bouts of sun and, and wind, and that just dries us off, so not too bad. That's the odd little shower, and we're having one now. Anyway, we'll see you next at heart side. Walking oh, yeah. along here with Colin, and he's not a happy bunny. No. <laughs> Tell him why, Colin. To say the least. Tell him why, man. Phone, about a month old, <sighs> and it got a cracked camera lens. No idea how it happened, but very annoying. Not good, man. Not good. So that's put a dampener on the, uh, the week, because basically, the moisture's getting in through the crack. So he's not gonna be able to use the camera out and about for fear of doing further damage to the lenses. Already one of the so-called good lenses has misted it up. So they're obviously connected in some way and not individually sealed. So he's not a happy bunny. Anyway, I'm trying to console him by <laughs> saying all the wrong things like there's nothing you can do about it etc etc <laughs> <laughs> but there we are oh well we'll crack on next stop heart side nine miles 34 in and we now approach heart side cairn Dell's encamped good old Dell boy yeah right there you go then. Heart side. Heart side taped and bagged. Well done, mate. Well done. There you go. Heart side taped and bagged. Well done. Nice one, that man. Right, this is definitely our last fell of the day. We've decided to just go and have a look at this one, which is Burkitt Fell. We don't believe it's a Burkitt, but uh, I'll let you know if it is or not. 
and we will now drop from here hopefully down to the coach road and back to High Row. Cracking view from here. Apparently this is named after Bill Burkett or in honour of him. Uh, again I'll look that up to confirm and tell you in the titles. This actually has nothing to do with Bill Burkett in fact. It is a memorial to Lord Norman Burkett and his connection with Oldswater. In the early 1960s, Oldswater came under threat as Manchester Corporation planned to use the lake as a reservoir which would restrict its recreational use and a bill went to the House of Lords. Lord Burkett, a brilliant advocate and humane judge, apparently made the greatest speech of his career in a packed House of Lords on February the 8th, 1962, when he actually spoke against the bill and of the importance of retaining Oldswater's natural beauty for all. The bill was rejected, but the following day, sadly, when reading congratulatory letters and newspapers reports, he was actually taken seriously ill and died shortly afterwards. Burkitt film. Quite a history. We're down and we're on the road back to High Row now. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed this little adventure. And as always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and like it if you liked it. And we'll see you out there. Take care.